Today we're going to look primarily <clears throat> at drawing S101, which are plant views of our foundations. And if I start looking at this drawing, I'm going to see that there are actually four, four plan views on this. This is building C, building B, building A, and building D. So there are four different buildings. And the reason they've done this, not only are the buildings different, but they sit on different kind of material. Buildings must be held up based on the ground in which they sit. So I'm going to look at building C, which is in the upper left corner. And the first thing I want to point out is something different on this building. It's on some other of these buildings, but it's going to be on this building and building B primarily. I'm going to find this little circle. And that little circular feature happens to be a wooden pile. This photo is showing wooden piles after they've been driven into the ground. And that's actually a great big wooden, think of a telephone pole. That's what they look like. And they go into the ground either all the way to bedrock or they go to a blow count. They get to be frictional. And what that's doing, because the material that this building sits on, the ground that this sits on, is not strong enough to support the weight of the building, we drive these piles into the ground to give the building structure, to give the foundation structure. This is an example of two different piles, one that sits on bedrock and a frictional that does not. Sitting on top of that pile, you'll find a dotted line. And that dotted line changes throughout the building if I follow it around. In this building, it's always gonna be there the same, with the exception of this upper left corner. This upper left corner is a footer, but if I come over here, on this side where that pile is, you can see there's a pile here, this is a grade beam. Anytime I have a footer sitting on top of the ground, just a plain ground like you'd find at your house, it's going to be a footer like up here. There's no, there's no pile underneath it. But if there are piles underneath the footer, that footer now is called a grade beam. And typically that grade beam is bigger, stronger, and has more reinforcing steel inside it. And we'll look at that in another video. As I continue to look at this, I see right here that there's a five inch structural slab on grade. What that means is that concrete slab sits on the ground. And that concrete slab, top of that elevation is 774 feet. Now you're saying, well, wait a minute, how can that be on the ground if it's 774 feet? Remember, that number is the elevation above sea level that this building is at. So this is a five inch thick slab of concrete. Sit, the top of that slab is gonna be 774 feet. In addition to that, it says it's reinforced with number fours at 10 inches east and west. Now that E and W is east and west. You'll find over here there's an N and S, that's a north and south. 10 inches means they're 10 inches on center from the center of one to the center of the next to the center of the next is the distance in between this, which is a piece of rebar. And in this case, it's a number four in both cases, a number four here and a number four here. That number four refers to the diameter of the rebar in eighths of an inch. So in this case, it's four eighths or half an inch. The grid you see in this drawing is an example of rebar, similar to what we're seeing in the drawing that we're looking at. Other, other drawings you may find other sizes of rebar. It might say six bar, it might see eight bar. Eight bar, remember, would be eight eighths or one inch thick. If I come over here, there's some other information that's kind of inf interesting to look at. This is T slash ICF. You're not going to find this abbreviation anywhere, but what this stands for is top of insulated concrete form wall. And that's what that's saying. This top of the wall is 781 feet, 11 and a half inches. It's also telling us the brick shelf is 768 feet, 7 inches. That's literally a shelf that the brick sits on inside the foundation wall. And if we work, walk our, work our way around this drawing, we'll see that the top of the grade here is 770 feet and 9 and a half inches. That means that's where the top of the dirt where the grass is going to grow up next to the building. And you'll find more information here like top of brick. This isn't here because probably it changes. The top of the wall is going to change as this goes throughout. And I'm assuming that because they didn't leave a dimension here. Um, I can see that there's a two foot by two foot grade beam here. Remember, that's our footer. That's what's holding the building up. Um, and later we'll start looking at some additional sections and things. But this is primarily what a foundation plan is going to look like. And there's a lot more information here that we'll go over at a later time. 